What's up guys, this is Ultima Device Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 5 great features in iOS 13. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I want to talk to you guys about Dark Mode. Now of course, Dark Mode is one of the most highly anticipated features in iOS 13. It brings a full system-wide Dark Mode to all of your applications, so this is much easier on your eyes. The extremely white, bright UI definitely was, you know, kind of an eye strain for a lot of people, myself included, so I'm very happy to see Dark Mode finally in iOS, again across all applications as you can see right here looks fantastic pretty much everywhere you go in iOS so the easiest way to enable and disable dark mode in iOS 13 is through the control center so if you expand the brightness module in here you can see you have a new option it's called appearance and if you tap on it you can change from the light appearance to the dark appearance just like that and you can see the actual default wallpapers in iOS 13 will change depending on whether you have light mode enabled or dark mode as you can see just like this so that goes for a very nice effect and of course you know all the system UI again will change immediately so I'll change it back to light you can see right there and then immediately you can see it changes back to the normal light theme and of course we can change it back to dark just like that now if you guys go into the display and brightness settings you can also change between these two and here you can see light and dark you could just change it right within the settings app you can see just like that. Now, there's also this option called automatic and if you enable this basically this allows you to uh, basically set dark mode to automatically enable and disable in accordance to sunset and sunrise so of course when the sun sets it'll you know enable dark mode but when the sun rises it'll enable light mode or you can make a custom schedule as you can see right here determining yourself when you want the light appearance and the dark appearance to show so that's really great to see. So next up I want to talk about the updated volume heads up display in iOS 13. So in previous versions of iOS when you adjusted the volume, the ringer volume or the media volume, it would basically pop up in the middle of the screen and interrupt, you know, your content whatever you're looking at on your device. But with iOS 13 as you can see, it's a sleek indicator that's going to show up on the side of your screen just like this. And this is something that I've been wanting Apple to address for quite a while and they finally did it here with iOS 13. So basically how it works is as soon as you start to adjust your volume, you get this pop up here. It looks very similar to the volume uh, in the control center as you can see right there. And the more you actually continue to adjust it so after you you know press the button once and then press it again you can see it then shrinks to this smaller little indicator just like this and you can actually grab onto it and adjust it with your finger like this as you can see so uh, again this is a very great change to iOS 13 so you're no longer going to be interrupted by that volume pop up in the middle of the display so next up, I want to talk about Apple's native built-in swipe keyboard. So if you guys are unfamiliar with what swipe keyboards allow you to do, basically it allows you to easily type just by sliding your finger from letter to letter rather than actually having to tap individually. As you can see right here, uh, it's actually a quite a fast way to type. And this is something that's been available on Android for so many years. And it's also been available in, you know, third-party keyboards in iOS for a while. But again, this is a built-in implementation of it. And once again, you can see here just how fast, once you get the hang of it, you can actually type with it and I'm sure more people will start to use this as of course now it's built right into iOS myself included so I'm excited for this the iOS 13 Safari application allows you to set specific preferences for individual websites so let me go ahead and open up Safari here I'm just gonna go to google.com and if I click on this little button in the upper left hand corner I could go to website settings as you can see right here now in here again for this specific website in my case google.com I could set Safari to automatically do certain things for instance automatically request the desktop website or use reader mode automatically. I can also control what this website has access to, for instance, my camera, my microphone, or my location. And again, I could set all this up right here, and these settings will always apply for Google.com. So I'm going to go ahead and enable request desktop site. So now whenever I go to Google.com, it will automatically request the desktop site. As you can see right here, it is now in the desktop mode. So again, no matter what, whenever I come back to Google.com, it's always going to remember that. And that's very useful. So, you know, definitely a great change to Safari just being able to automatically configure how you want certain websites to perform. So next up I want to talk about the new share sheet in iOS 13. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the photos application here and I have a photo open. I'm going to go ahead and press share. So as you can see right here, straight off the bat, underneath the photo that I have selected, the share sheet is going to suggest people for me to send this to based on who I, you know, message things to and based on who is in the photo. So that's a very cool feature, just having those suggestions right there. And also, you notice here, the share sheet has been redesigned. Just the entire design of it, you can see with this list view for the options towards the bottom. And it looks quite nice, you know, especially in the dark mode here. But of course, you know, you still get all the applications and everything like this. But you can see here, just the overall look of it has been redesigned. And like many areas of iOS 13, I could just dismiss this by dragging down just like that. 
And guys, those are just a few features in iOS 13. Uh, there's so much more packed under the hood here. So a very great update with a ton of awesome features. I just want to show you guys a few of my favorite features that I'm looking forward to using. And iOS 13 is actually a big update for iPads, especially. They actually renamed it to iPad OS 13. So if you guys want to see some of the iPad exclusive features, I made a video yesterday showing the refreshed home screen design on the iPad and some of the new multitasking features. So I'll put a link to that video in the description down below if you guys want to check that out but all right guys that pretty much wraps it up for this video thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more apple content once again thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next one peace out